The JCCC baseball team is getting ready to start their 2021 season after months of practice and preparation. Obviously get there, do our Tim checks and do all that, and then we kind of warm up together as a team, for, get our throwing done, infield work and stuff like that. And then usually in the fall, we kind of just hit it hard and going five days a week with lifting. And since we didn't, we weren't able to really play outside competition, we pretty much just inter-squatted three out of the five days a week. So it was actually a lot of fun. And we got to see all the new guys looked like and got to see like who got better, you know, over the summer and everything like that. Lately, it's been difficult for people to get out of the house and attend events. That's why support from the community, even over social media, is important. We don't see anyone at the school like we don't have in-person classes so like we don't get to walk around campus flexing our juco baseball stuff it's nice to have support because you know like we don't really have fans or anything probably this year so it's nice to have that like the dean of johnson county and all the administration are rooting for us and stuff like that to have our back jccc baseball has been ranked in all four juco polls this year and the team finished with over a 3.0 gpa last semester Coach Horner intends to uphold all of these accomplishments on and off the field. Really staying safe and still getting our work done on the practice field. As far as expectations go, I mean, I've been at the college for 17 years and nothing really changes. You know, we're trying to get after it in the classroom, trying to get after it on the field and trying to chip in. And we're just trying to do the best we can with the situation we have. And, you know, all we can do is work hard and, and do our best and follow the guidelines and get ready to go whenever uh, we're able to get out and go. With the season ending early last year, it's great to see JCCC taking care of its players while also getting back out on the field did a really good job this fall and we didn't really have any cancellations except for like the first week we were here. We have to really definitely enjoy our time while we have it, you know, because that one week I think we had off, it like sucked because you're just like, geez, I'm just sitting here doing nothing. You know, we'd rather be at practice. We just got to be smart off the field to make sure that, you know, no one gets sick. We're just really thankful for the administration we have from the, the top down from the president. They've been really supportive, but yet They've also set good guidelines to keep our, our kids safe too. So, you know, with, without their help and without their understanding and their backing, we wouldn't have been able to even have a fall this year. So we're really grateful for that. And hopefully we won't disappoint in the spring. Reporting from the Campus Ledger, this has been Paige Winters.